So this is a French movie about a middle-aged woman, played by Juliette Binochet. And the way the movie is structured is that she's basically recounting her story to her therapist. Essentially the events that led to her having to see a therapist in the first place. And the woman is this divorced mother of two and some sort of professor or lecturer. But that's not really the focus of the story here, at least not her profession. Although the divorce definitely plays a role as the movie focuses on her quote-unquote love life. As she starts seeing these younger men, which sort of reignites her flame and reinvigorates her. Then one thing leads to another and we end up with this kind of twisted and interesting story. One that goes down some intriguing paths and definitely held my interest. And what it basically is, is some sort of love story with some heavy thriller elements. It basically deals with passion, obsession, betrayal, all sorts of things. And this one definitely had some layers to it. It's not as simple as it might seem at first. Especially towards the end there, it starts really opening up and revealing all its cards. And yeah, as I said, it definitely held my interest. It's a well-written story. And it's also a very well-made movie from a technical standpoint. It's a really crisp and clean looking movie and I I didn't really have any issues on that front. And the main performance here is nothing short of great. I mean, I've always liked Juliette Binochet, but in this she really shone. There's just so much nuance and emotional depth to this character. And she absolutely nailed it, which she needed to do too. Because now that I think about it, she's the one on screen most of the time. And a lot of the time it's just her too, so had she done a poor job, this wouldn't have worked. But fortunately that wasn't an issue and I really enjoyed this. Oh, and I liked the minimalist score here too. I thought it worked really well. However, I didn't like everything about this. There's one issue I had in particular. There's this one sequence toward the end, a sequence that lasted for quite a while. And it just made everything unnecessarily convoluted for really no reason at all. I honestly don't see what purpose it served or why it needed to be in there. And since the movie is already complex enough without it, it just felt a bit pointless. So ideally I think that whole section could have been cut out and the movie would have been better for it. But other than that, I really liked this thing. I also liked what they did with the very end. And yet a central performance here is very strong as well. So overall, I had very few issues with this and thought it was just a very well executed little film. One that offered way more suspense and intrigue than I'd expected. And one that has a really interesting and complex main character too. A character that is kind of hard to pin down and try to figure out, which was great. It kept me on my toes and even till the very end I wasn't really sure what went on inside her head. What her true motivations were and what it was that was really actually driving her. That being said, there is one reveal in there and it was supposed to be a pretty big one. But I feel like they gave away a bit too many clues and I definitely figured it out by then. So that was a bit of a disappointment but I wouldn't go as far as to say as it was a big issue or anything. And that's always a fine line these kind of movies have to walk. You gotta give the audience enough clues so that they can figure it out. But ideally a few enough that they don't put two and two together before the big reveal. But anyway, yeah, I really enjoyed this and thought they did a really solid job with it. However, would I recommend it? Sure, if you like romantic thrillers, this one's probably for you. So maybe give it a look-see, or don't. After all, I'm not your dad. But hey, what are your thoughts on this? Have you seen it? Did you like it? Let me know. And if you enjoyed the video, maybe give it a thumbs up or sub to the channel, because that would be fantastic. And if you'd like, you can also support me on Patreon or PayPal through the links in the description. And as always, I appreciate you and thanks for watching.